Hey friends, Jed here, and a lot of times people ask me, how do you paint with freedom, with courage, with boldness? And um, I think it's because a lot of times we get caught up being detailed when we don't actually really want to be te detailed. Like we work on a painting and we keep working on it and we keep working on it and we mess it up or we do something. We had it kind of loose and bold at first and then we kind of, you know, lose that or maybe we never actually get into being loose and bold where we start out being too concerned with the drawing and we get too caught up in everything and we we never break out of that really tight kind of feel so that's what we're going to talk about today how do you paint with looseness with boldness with freedom i thought that i would look at this book right here because look it says how to paint fast loose and bold this is by patty malika she's a great artist and um uh, she paints with a lot of freedom, a lot of boldness. And I, I just thought what she says here, right here in the intro is actually kind of helpful because he, essentially she says, painting fast, loose, and bold is what happens when you approach a painting with confidence. Okay, that sounds wonderful, but where do we get that confidence? Now, here's the funny thing about this. You bought the book and you want to learn but it's just not quite as easy as going like, oh, it's just, this is the answer, right? It, it, it never is quite that easy, but that doesn't mean that it can't happen. It doesn't mean that it's not worth pursuing. It just means that it's a process. So she goes on to say that, you know, you wanna paint fast. Well, that means if you work with a value plan, a painting can be executed rather quickly, loose. You know, she kind of talks about some of these things, but at the end, basically her, her point is this. It took me years to hone the essential skills that helped me become a consistently better painter. And she says that consistency is an important, important part of painting with courage, with freedom, with boldness. And what she goes on to say is really, look, if you wanna paint uh, with a lot of courage, with a lot of boldness, you have to be confident. You have to know what you're doing. You have to kind of have been consistently painting and had some success and, and done things over time. And so I'm saying all that because I think what she's saying is right. You actually just need to put in time to be able to feel like you can paint with freedom. But I'm also going to throw in a few tips that I have that I think can help accelerate that. Now, if you want, I would recommend that book. I think it's a really great one. I think that she offers a lot of helpful insights and some good things that are foundational. It's also why we've ordered our lessons the way we have, why we start with foundational things. We don't start giving you glamorous, glittery kind of techniques that are like, oh, look, look, you can just like spurt some water or, you know, some paint on your canvas and then you put a palette knife over and look, it created a rainbow or something like that. Like, those are little gimmicky things that don't actually teach you. They don't actually help you understand why you're doing what you're doing. You need the foundations, you need fundamentals, and then you just need some time. But here are a few things that can also be helpful. One, I always or often will recommend if you're making the choice between a small brush and a big brush, go with the big brush. If you wanna paint with more looseness, then force yourself not to start your painting with a little brush. If you get a little brush out at the beginning of your painting, I mean, you can just see like, how small is this? Am I gonna get really big and bold and loose with this? Well, maybe if you're going like this, you could do something, but it's not gonna be nearly as bold and, and loose as it would be if you used a bigger brush. So. Choosing a bigger brush can be one thing that will be really helpful for you. Another thing is this. Get yourself a way to keep track of your time, right? This is probably um, one of the more helpful tools that I've found as I've taught workshops that forces artists to go beyond what they think they're capable of doing. Now, this is about an hour, and I actually think that this is longer than most people need. What I do in a workshop is I give people about half an hour. The reason I do that is because if you have a timer going and you have a painting that you need to start and finish in 30 minutes or some you know, predetermined time, 
then it is going to force you to make bigger, bolder decisions in your brushwork, in your design. You're going to do things faster. You're going to mix your paints and you're not going to think so much about every detail of it as you would if you had, you know, your usual unlimited, undetermined amount of time. You know, a lot of times we start out and we're painting and we just paint. You know, we just say, I'm going to paint and we don't have any sort of end time. You know, a lot of times I get my best paintings done when I'm painting for an art show. And one of the reasons is because I have to get stuff done. I have to force myself to go like, let's go, let's paint, let's move. And maybe the first few paintings are kind of rusty. I'm, I'm you know, I'm not in the groove, but after a while, you know, it seems like we get into a little bit of a rhythm. Our brain starts to function and we start to see, oh yeah, that's how I mix that color. I remember now, you know, um, you know, like these things are easier to do. Believe it or not, I've seen it so many times that artists who are forced to do things that are at first very uncomfortable, uncomfortable for them. Like, like in a workshop, I'll go, hey, you've got half an hour. I want you to start. And I, I put on the timer and people are griping and moaning and and they're thinking like, I'll never get this painting done. And the first one's usually pretty hard. It's a struggle. The second one, a little bit better. Third one, they're starting to get the hang of it and their paintings are actually looking pretty good. They're bold, they're, they're you know, they're, they're doing definitive brush marks. They're doing all sorts of stuff that they wouldn't have done um, if they just had unlimited time. So use a bigger brush, set a time limit. The most important, learn the fundamentals. Bigger brush, time limit, and keep going, keep learning, keep trying, and grow in your foundation. You know, build on that foundation, and you're going to increase in your confidence, and you're going to be able to paint with more freedom, more boldness, and you're gonna have a really, really, really good time as you do it. I hope that was helpful, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.